but that's not all folks. A lot of my time gets spent on messing with these random kind of sounds in production, but it's fun. I enjoy doing it. You ever play the synth out? I would go on to work on that sound for about an hour. Everyone's expecting. No. When I'm working on my productions, I like to insert elements that are kind of new that keep the listener on their toes and helps re-engage their ears. all my tinker toys and made, but it's not on the instruction manual, I'll tell you that much. My process is kind of a mix of adding elements that people can trust that they've heard before and adding randomness that just connects with my heart. All right, I figured out that that's not going to work. This happens quite a bit. I'll work on a sound for a very long time and then realize it doesn't work. But it's important to approach song creation with an open hand or else you might miss out on something really good. A lot of my guitar influence when it comes to producing comes from John Mayer because I think he's the absolute best at introducing musicality in a pop format that people are going to actually enjoy listening to. Listen to songs that are popular, that sound like the song that you're making, and if the song that you're making doesn't sound like any song, even remotely, that's popular, then your song's probably also not going to be popular. During this whole behind the scenes process, I probably talked Ben's ear off. Ben's the guy holding the camera and I'm not really sharing all this information because I think that he doesn't know it. I'm more so talking to myself and explaining to me why I'm doing what I'm doing. This is me just getting distracted. I'm a little bit ADHD, but you know what? It keeps the production process fun. Fun fact, this song actually used to be a completely different vibe. It was like very funk feeling, had a lot of guitar in it, and it was quite a bit faster, but it never felt right. So I ended up ditching that idea and going with this kind of laid back swingy feel. Nothing like a solid A. I mean, I love A's. I've recorded so many A's right now. I'm just trying to figure out what A am I trying to find? What did I make? Maybe I was the other way. These are both the same sample, they're just not the same, you know what I mean? I used to lay away. Right here, I'm just trying to figure out how I'm going to phrase the verses. Should they have more feel in them? Should they be more straight? I ended up going a little bit more straight just so people can sing along easier. Whoa. Full up. At no point in my process are lyrics set in stone. I'm constantly changing things, switching words around, rethinking ideas, because I try to make it about the song and not get too attached to what I've written previously so I can get the absolute best thing in the end. So this, I'm think, I think, is important with um, making like ballad -y kind of t songs is you have to do stuff that keeps the song moving because like ballads really don't exist today that much. Uh, not like true ballads, so you gotta do something that's like moving the song along, it's not taking unnecessary pauses and breaks. That's what I'm doing, I'm just going straight from my chorus into my next verse. Once again, all this talking is more for my sake to make sure that I'm not doing something weird. <laughs> I kind of have to explain it to myself. All in all, this song was super fun to make. Even though I ended up ditching the original version, I had a good time exploring what emotionally resonated with me the most. The most important thing about songwriting and song making and production and all this stuff is that it resonates with your heart. And if it doesn't make you feel something or take you on a journey, then it most likely won't do that for anyone else.